Kuwait celebrates today the sixth anniversary of the United Nations honoring of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah as a humanitarian leader. Christian Tudor, the head of the state of Kuwait's European delegation, is amongst a host of the world leader and envoys who are conveying their congratulations on this special occasion. As usual, Ghandla Jaburi is over there. His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah's journey has been a remarkable, solid, and admirable journey becoming a beacon of hope and faith for communities in conflict around the world. Furthermore, His Highness the Emir's wise leadership and exemplary humanitarian initiatives will forever be a source of inspiration for generations to come. Uh, indeed, uh, this year we will all um, celebrate uh, uh, sixth year since, since, uh, since the acknowledgement of, of the humanitarian leadership by, by UN uh, Secretary General for, for His Highness uh, the Sheikh Subah. True center of humanitarian uh, work, not only leadership in, in terms of the vision, but also uh, real work, because what His Highness the Emir has, has done with his leadership and, and the policy and, and the actions that were taken by the, by the government of Kuwait really saved lives. It is extraordinary, the, the leadership, the vision, the effort, the, the, the funds, the, the finance that, that have been put into this uh, really made a difference worldwide. And uh, I really want to pay tribute to His Highness, the Emir of Kuwait, for his uh, uh, fantastic leadership and, and drive. And I think that the European Union has been uh, truly, truly uh, uh, supportive and appreciated because we have worked hand in hand together with Kuwait on many files. Uh, we co-chaired uh, important international conferences on Syria, on Iraq, on the Rohingya uh, crisis. And, and I think that, that uh, Kuwait is, is doing a fantastic job. His Highness the Emir's well-deserved honouring came in recognition for his resonating commitment. Millions of people in despair find light and hope in the darkest of times when all hope was lost. Celebrating a wise humanitarian leader whose work has resonated all over the globe. Celebrating the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah. I'm Genwa Jaburi reporting to you for the English News. We have our guest of this evening, Mrs. Haideko Haid Ziluch the United Nations Development Program resident representative in the state of Kuwait to talk about His Highness, the humanitarian role. Good evening, I thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for the invitation. How do you see His Highness, the Emir's humanitarian leadership role? Well, first of all, on behalf of the United Nations Development Program, I wish quick and smooth recovery of His Highness Sabah al Ahmed al-Jabbar al-Sabah, and we look forward to seeing him in good health. His Highness is undoubtedly regarded as a respected regional and international mediator and peacemaker by many countries in the region and beyond for decades, dating back to his 40 years of successful tenure as foreign minister and prime minister as well. His Highness Amir's track record of striking peaceful mediation and regional or actually global stabilization is perhaps firmly rooted in his genuine approach to humanitarianism, authentic respect for diversity, and the foresight and the vision for a better future, which have been so uplifting and inspiring to many countries and then people. So leaders, including former and current presidents and then prime ministers, UN secretary generals, applaud His Highness as a global humanitarian leader for his initiatives to support people in dire needs, suffering from disasters, conflicts, and displacement while supporting global public health. When you say the humanitarian, how has the concept of the humanitarian support evolved? That's a very interesting question. Unfortunately, Humanitarian crises are on the increase. 
nearly 168 million people will need humanitarian assistance and protection as we speak. This represents about one person in every 45 on the planet, and this is the highest figure in decades. Conflict is also the key driver of hunger and deprivation, and there were more than 820 million people without adequate food. So many conflicts and man-made disasters can be prevented, and the impact of natural disasters can be mitigated with preventive investment and support, which could be much cheaper than we support in post-disaster response. So it is also true that many humanitarian crises tend to last and relapse into conflicts into um, very high risk. And it necessitates the importance of pursuing humanitarian development peace nexus. The slogan highlighted at the World Humanitarian Summit four years ago, where His Highness also embraced. This humanitarian development peace nexus also means that the United Nations system, such as uh, UNDP, UNHCR, and UN peacekeeping, will further strengthen our collective support, together with bilateral support, from dimensions of humanitarian, governance, economic, and civil affairs perspectives. So a global economic slowdown could further increase vulnerability in countries already experiencing economic stress and debt problems. Also, infectious diseases are becoming 